All right, YouTube, welcome back to the channel. And today we have a absolutely massive tournament day as we are on day two of the Poker Stars and Michigan Coop main event. Uh, so the start, tournament started with 632 entries and a starting stack of 100,000 chips. And we've made it to day two. We're one of the final 29. Uh, currently, we're sitting 10 of 29. Uh, locked up $969, first place $31,000. So a uh, huge opportunity today and hopefully going to close out with a big, big victory. Uh, button limp here. We're going to go ahead and check big blind 10 6. So we'll take our first flop. Flop a 10. I'm going to go ahead and lead out here. Merits for checking too. See the call. Deuce on the turn. I'm uh, going to go ahead and check call now. Especially very small. Queen River, we'll check. Pretty gross if we see a big size. Um, this size is just so small, and the queen, if anything, is going to have some chop outs here versus tens that beat us now. So we have, and I don't think a flush is going to go this small twice. So I do see there. So we just call here. Um, has aces. Wow, didn't expect that. So the sizes were small up there. I think we just have to be calling. Open 10 9, jams a little over 20 bigs will fold. Takes a while and calls the button. Very interesting. Big blind comes along as well. Uh, board comes down jack 8 7, so we flop a pair and gutter. Uh, multi ways here, I think we play the check to check call. Uh, board that we can check multi way quite often, I think, is the original razor. The problem is it does get really dicey like once we check call if they put a lot of aggression on the turn. Said we see a small size, so we'll go ahead and call. Four on the turn, we'll check. That's pretty quickly again. I think given a good price here, we can call one. We might have to fold some rivers if we don't improve. But I don't think they're always necessarily triple barreling here. Uh, we'll check river. Snap checks, has ace jack, so unfortunately at nine's no good. So down to eight big blinds. Ace seven, so again, this player is out, so I think, yeah, this is a pretty easy jam in the cutoff, more or less playing like the button. All in at risk for the first time potentially here on day two. Hoping for the folds. Get snap called queen jack. Ugh, jack on the flop. And we're out. Oh, wow. That was a really lame, lame day two. So we're out in 22nd. Uh, again, the few hands we played, I think like everything completely standard. Just cards were really not in our favor today. Super disappointing after all the build up for it to uh, go on 22nd. But we finished 22nd for 1,186. Um, yeah, this really sucks. I don't know what else to say about that, but we'll be out. All right, guys, so we have busted that Michigan Coop main event early, unfortunately, there in 22nd for $1,186. So we're going to jump into some cash game hands and uh, try to make a little bit of money here. Going to go ahead and open this Poker Stars chest here. Hope for a big payday here. Uh, 2,400 coins, so that's worth $24. And then in cash, we're going to get 25 bucks. So $49 value there, not too shabby. Raise Ace King and get called in three spots. Absolutely massive flop here. Uh, so we flop top pair, top kicker with the Ace of Spades. We'll go ahead and bet. Everybody folds. I'm going to open with three bet hijack, King Queen suited. Um, a button cold calls back over the original Razor. I see a call. Uh, pretty interesting here. Ace Queen at six on the Ace High board. I'm going to go ahead and check. Interesting because I think it's a board I can bet a ton. Um, we get just the magical turn card queen here. Going to bet now. Um, I do think I'm going to go big here because I kind of am representing exactly a queen has played. Like I don't know what else I would bet for value at this point once we check flop. So I think when we bet we go big. Oh my gosh, he just jams. <laughs> This is a massive jam. I swear if you have us beat right now, I'm going to be so frustrated, but we cannot fold this. 
Queen Deuce. Whew. All right, our queen is good. What a absolute massive turn card there to help us get paid. Get a hijack open button three bet. We're gonna come in with the cold four bets against Dublistic. Get a call pretty quick here. Uh, gonna be betting pretty small almost always here in four bet pots like this. Calls six on the turn. So this is interesting. Aces are one of the few hands, like the pairs I would trap here and check turn. I want them to blast off with like thinking they're doing some equity denial here with like sevens, eights, nines, tens instead of making a huge fold. Uh, whereas like tens and jacks, I'm more likely to jam because we're susceptible to some runouts. Um, with that said, when they go small, I think we have to jam. So this is part of the plan too. So like if we call here, it's like, 600 200 behind like they're if they have any sort of value hand they're probably not really folding so we'll just stick in the rest calls aces and tens there we go very nice hand with uh, aces for us um so we open hijack big blind defends will bet get called uh do i go over bet here i think i'm going to don't know if i necessarily have to blast off with a good ace high like this could be an okay check get called we river and ace can't go for value now now we just check and we're good at versus the king tennis spades why it turned to 10 with a flush draw under the gun opens with three bets hijack ace queen suited just a jam so i'm gonna call this players played like absolutely nuts with how they're playing um, I th like they're playing 53 hands. They're playing 55, 33, 33. They've gotten all in pre with sevens and stuff. So I think ace queen suit is going to be good enough here. Has deuces. So it's ever so slight of a favorite until that flop, we are turned dead. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I mean, when we show them, see them show up with the deuces, like they're going to have worse ace x too. So we'll call it the ace queen suited. Unfortunately, it lose that. Um, we're about to be wrapping up here pretty soon. So kind of annoying to like have a huge win get cut quite a bit right there at the end. Not a huge win, but a huge win considering like how like little hands we're playing. All right, guys, and that's going to wrap up our session here. So unfortunately, the Mission Coop main event did not go well, but we did play some cash games after it made a little bit of money back uh, there as well. So in the 2-5 game, we played 231 hands, a profit of 799. In the 1-2 game, 103 hands, a minus 165. Total profit in the day at plus 633. I'm um, really disappointed not to get any like even interesting spots really in the tournaments uh but when you make it in the day two a lot can happen fast unfortunately today just wasn't our day so if you guys are watching the vlog on youtube today and enjoyed the video please be sure to like the video comment and subscribe to the channel i'm currently posting a new poker vlog five days a week every monday through friday at 11 a.m eastern standard time and if you ever want to catch our live streams on twitch i post that schedule every monday morning at 9 a.m eastern standard time on the twitch schedule tab